So hello and welcome to this most glittering, extravagant early season gala where the two major prize winners of European football get proudly to parade their trophies ahead of this special clash which is going to get going in a few moments from now. There are a few better spectacles than this as we wait with huge... Shoots! Pique gets good distance on it. Clearance and very necessary. Kane! Big moment! Massive goal! Well, if that was their intention pre-match, let me tell you, it's worked out very nicely. I think for the skipper to chip in with a goal too is a bonus, but this game has already taken on a real attacking edge and, and long may that continue. Absolutely thundered in. Keeper, no chance. Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plump. Inter Milan take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Nasri, he's got away. Sigurdsson hits it! That's a half-decent try. Just the wrong outcome. DK did give it a fair old crack and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Inter Milan scored early, of course, and the score is 1-0. Lulic crosses it in low. Rukani. Now it's Sane. And the shot! Forward it goes. And it's Kane. It's Kane! It's Kane, but only just. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. Sigurdsson. That's surely a foul free kick. The half time whistle goes. There we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Inter Milan go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. And we're already back on the way here. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Nasri. 
better options before the ball was lost. Easy to say from up here, I know. Ball's out on the left now. Kane, he shot a goal! He scores! And with that goal comes comfort. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Things starting to look very comfortable. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. For Marlon. Now it's Kane. Goes for goal! And they are cruising away. Inter are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Chance to break. Now it's Lulic. Going through. Has a hit! Got offside that time. Yeah, he was off. Ever so slightly. Nasri appears to be in some real discomfort. Is it his leg? Yeah, his pain is now pretty obvious, Peter. He's not the type who pulls up unless something's hurting. And he is going to soldier on by the looks of it. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. I just think that's really good management, introducing one of his younger players when the pressure's totally off, just allowing him some valuable easy on-field experience time. He's got through, he goes for goal, it's in! Players ecstatic, fans delirious, this is utopian! A pretty simple finish in the end, what do you think Jim? obvious as to where the pass should be played Peter and it made the finish look that bit easier he's made it three quite a day at the office for him well he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal what a display what a player can he finish and that's why so the manager making the last of his changes I think you have to admire his willingness to in a way, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. To the keeper and go again. Lulic. So that's it. It is all over. So it is Super Cup Day, a clash of two of the finest. This, of course, a part of the world where the game holds a very special place in the hearts of many. Every game is a grand occasion. You simply cannot beat this. This is the gladiatorial arena that is the Stadio Olimpico, for so long the symbol of Rome's grand sporting history.
Jim, you've had a good chance to look at the teams. How are you feeling about this one? It falls somewhere in between friendly and, and fully competitive, I would say. Yes, you want to win a trophy, but you also know that it shapes the shoots. Their attempt, just the wrong outcome. Calabria just denied by a lick of paint. We're talking centimetres. Fellaini. It's a loose ball. That'll be a throw. Gets good distance on it. Somebody shoots it out wide. Good as well there. A look. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. It's loose, going through. Now it's Sane. Interference and very necessary. Lazio have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box. Trying Is it in? They've scored! Hot knife through butter. They have done it again! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Into Milan, get themselves a two-goal cushion. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. And he's going long. Sees it out of harm's way. And yes, takes the long option. It's gone for a throw in. Rukan. Neymar. Mohamed Salah plays it. Sonny has a goal! That'll be the last act of the first half. Reflections on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Into Milan, ahead 2-0, and they are looking good. And we're already back on the way here. It'll be a throw in. straight back are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. Into Milan, take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Now it's Sané. Now it's Kane. Can he put it away? It's 
in! Yet another goal in an awesome performance! They are in complete charge! Inter are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. He snaffles his third and that earns him the match ball. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Inter Milan tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. He's played him through. Well, that's where he wants it. Jerson, he's got away. Has a pop! Fence has got rid of that. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Inter Milan awarded another corner. Played it short. Massive leap! Danger averted for now. Here comes... Can he finish? What about it? And again, they pile on the misery. Well, I wasn't expecting them to go this big, Peter, but they have been superb. Milan and that's that